What's up, everybody? Jared here once again, bringing you guys another useful app review. And this is actually um, not so much an app review, but more of a script review. And you'll understand why I say app in just a minute. Um, on Android, which is what we're going to be taking a look at here, it has actually, it may sound familiar to you guys, it's actually been featured on the XDA developers front page. Uh, for good reason too, this is the first of its kind. Uh, this is a really fantastic and innovative tool for those um, routers and modders out there. And what it allows you to do is actually create an Android backup without having to boot into recovery. So you can actually be, you know, using your phone, you know, your device is powered on, you know, running the Android operating system, and you can actually create an Android backup, again, without having to boot into recovery to do it that way. Um, why would this come in useful? Well, for a, a couple of reasons, you know, sometimes when you're um, flashing ROMs or creating, you know, an Android backup, sometimes those Android backups, depending on your device, might take a while. And, um, you know, also you could be missing calls, text messages, emails, things like that. You know, I mean, it, it's, it would just be a lot nicer to be able to actually use your phone while it's it's creating a backup. Um, so it actually started out with a script and it's actually up to version 5.9 now. And uh, I guess some of the users in there were like, man, that's a really, really useful, cool script. You know, how about somebody create an application for it? Because if, you know, if your device is on, there shouldn't be any reason why you couldn't just create an application to run the script for you. So that's where we are now. Now there's two different applications out there that I found, this one and another one. The other one, in my opinion, is lacking a bit. Uh, so this one is a little more complete. Uh, he's obviously still working on it because you click on script log, you know, nothing found there. That's because we haven't done anything. Uh, if we click on my backups, as you can see there, it says coming soon. And if we click on settings, that is actually working. Um, now when you do launch the application, the first thing it'll pop up with is this message here. Do you want to install the script? Because it wasn't found on your device. Now, originally I had Flash and installed the script myself um, until I actually had found out that there is an application that somebody developed for it. So we'll go ahead and click yes because this will actually install the script for you. You don't need to go to the XDA thread to do it or to download it and then flash it. You can just download this application from the Google Play Store and it'll actually um, load the script for you. And as you can see there, it, the installation was successful of that particular script. Now you'll notice right here in the main, um, it says backup name settings. So we can actually change it just like Clockwork Mod Recovery. You can actually change it to a custom name. You can have the UTC time zone or the phone time zone. Um, and if we go into settings here, you'll notice a few more things. You can, you know, report some scripts, some app bugs, um, boot and recovery bug, you know, the app author, stuff like that, install. Now, this is uh, some interesting stuff here. If you do happen to run into some issues with this, um, there's, there's two main issues with it. I can't remember what both of them specifically do or are, but uh, they actually have the, um, the fixes here. So you can see here if, you know, if uh, this one's obviously already installed because it's grayed out. Um, however, here's, uh, this is one that you're able to remove. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. So as you can see here, we again, we're, you know, the phone's turned on and everything. I'm just going to go ahead and click start backup and start backup now. Yes. Now, as you can see here, it's running a script now. Of course, you do have to have root because what's the point of doing an Android backup if you don't have root, right? Um, and it's doing its thing. We'll scroll to the bottom there, backing up system. It's backing up everything, right? And um, as you can see, we can actually... Um, use our device, you know, go into the applications, we can check email, we can text message, phone call. Now, something to keep in mind, however, with this, uh, is that um, you don't want to be doing anything that will change the backup data while it's backing up, okay? So that means don't download applications, uh, don't mod your phone, obviously, while this is running. Um, you may not want to put things on the internal SD card, um, things like that, right? Things that will um, alter the actual data that's currently being backed up. Now, again, you can do things like emails, text messages, you know, phone calls. Those aren't big issues that won't muck with anything. So that's, that's you know, don't worry about that. Now, another interesting thing about this application, while we, we can talk about while it's still backing up here, is that it actually backs up in your Clockwork Mod Recovery folder. Uh, so you'll be able to find it there just like you would uh, a regular, you know, doing it um, uh, manually, you know, going into Clockwork Mod and, and hitting the uh, backup and restore. And then you'd look for the restore and you'd find the date. And again, you know, you can change around the name and all that stuff. Um, and again, if we wanted to, 
we could always jump in here and just settings. And if you didn't like this, you can always now okay, keep in mind before you uninstall this application. If you do want to, you could easily just um, what you or what you're going to want to do is um, uninstall remove on Android and that will remove it. And then you can go ahead and uninstall uh, the application there. But um, for all intents and purposes, there would be there should be no reason why you would want to remove this because this is this is pretty cool. It's pretty cool, right? In fact, for uh, future backups, this is what I'm going to be using from now on. Um, so it's just generating an MD5 sum, which basically means the backup is pretty much complete. That took, you know, about what, three minutes or so, mind you, that is on my Galaxy S3. Um, so anyways, very cool application, guys. I will be posting a link in the description below to both the XDA, original XDA thread, so that you guys can poke around and read up on it if you like. Um, as well as the Google Play Store link to the actual application that will install the script for you and you'll be able to control it through the application. But that's it for now, guys. Thanks again for watching. Um, if you liked the video and you found it helpful, show me some love by uh, show me some love. Show me some love by hitting that like button down below. And uh, you might want to consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. And yeah, that's it for now. So thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.